China has enough troubles of its own. Floods have displaced more than 30 million people in the country. A food crisis is looming. Chinese banks have lost billions of dollars. 80 million people are out of work thanks to the Wuhan virus. But guess what President Xi Jinping is worried about? All he cares about is how to seize more territory. The PLA, the People's Liberation Army, has resumed its military adventurism. China has reignited the border standoff with India. Why now? Is Xi Jinping creating new problems outside to distract from his troubles at home? That's what we'll discuss, and that is our cover story tonight. We'll start with what happened at the India-China border over the weekend. China's latest provocation in Ladakh. Let's show you where it happened. In eastern Ladakh, on the southern bank of the Pangong Lake, this area has been one of the flashpoints in the recent standoff. On the intervening night of 29th and 30th of August, the PLA, the Chinese army, carried out what has been described as, and I'm quoting, provocative military movements. According to the army, this was an attempt to change the status quo to occupy territory. The Indian Army issued a statement earlier today. It says that the Indian soldiers preempted the PLA's activities and took measures to stop this incursion. Sources tell Vion that there were no physical clashes this time. The Chinese side had, and I'm quoting again, sufficient strength to carry out this operation. More than 100 Chinese soldiers were part of this incursion attempt. But India has thwarted it. What is China's response? Denial. Beijing says the incursion never happened. It says the PLA did not cross the line of actual control. Listen to this. Chinese border troops always act in strict compliance with the line of actual control and have never crossed the line for any activities. The two border troops have been in communication over the issue on the ground. We maintain close communication through diplomatic and military channels. As to specific meetings and talks, we will release information in due course. By evening, China changed its tune. The Global Times, the state mouthpiece, has published a report. It quotes the Western Theatre commander of the PLA. He claims that it was India that violated the border. China is now threatening India. As always, the Global Times is the platform of choice for Beijing to issue fresh threats to New Delhi. They published this piece earlier today, quoting Chinese experts. It says, India would suffer severe consequences from its provocations. Well, this is typical China. Deny, lie, and then threaten. China has not honored its commitments. The PLA said it would de-escalate, but it has done quite the opposite. Reports say China started building 5G infrastructure along the line of actual control. More construction is being reported at the Pangong Lake. And this includes military infrastructure. Days before the latest transgression, China had redeployed the J-20 fighter jets in Ladakh. These jets were positioned at the Hotan Air Base on the Chinese side. And we understand that the build-up is not limited to the Ladakh region. China is said to be building more defense infra infrastructure along the disputed border with India. One report claims that China has been developing two air defense positions. This covers the 2017 Doklam standoff area and Nakula in Sikkim. Remember, this area was in the news earlier this year. It witnessed clashes between Indian and Chinese soldiers before the Ladakh standoff. So China is building up its military infrastructure on all potential flashpoints. It is provoking India with fresh incursions. Why is it doing this now? That can be a subject of debate. What it is doing now is undebatable. China is provoking. It is not de-escalating. And here's something else it's doing. Refusing to acknowledge that its troops were killed in Galwan. Last week, we showed you this photograph, this black headstone. This is being called the grave of a Chinese soldier killed in the clashes with India on the 15th of June. Now, we have more images. And I must repeat, these are unconfirmed. We cannot independently verify if these are indeed the graves of Chinese soldiers killed in action in Galwan. But these pictures are being circulated on the Chinese social media and now, in fact, all media. These are said to be pictures from a 1962 war cemetery. Reports say more than 30 fresh tombs were added to this cemetery in the month of June. Sources say, uh, in India say that the Chinese lost anywhere between 35 to 50 soldiers in the clash. 
But China remains silent. The desire to project strength is so strong that Xi Jinping refuses to even acknowledge, let alone honor the sacrifice of China's soldiers.